Welcome to this episode of This Camford Life podcast. Our guests today are a group of lower six students and we're going to be talking about what the Camford community is like online. So um, I'm Mimi, I'm in Marriott's house, I'm in lower six and I've been at Camford for four years now. My name is Will, I'm in Schoolhouse and I've been at Camford for four years as well. My name is Rosie. I'm in Wimborne House and I'm in Lower Sixth, but I've only been, this is my first year at Camford. Um, I'm Amanda, um, I'm in Delacy House, I'm in Lower Sixth and this is also my fourth year here. I'm in, I'm in Franklin House, Lower Sixth and I too have been here for four years. So as this is our second time um, being on online school, have you noticed there's been a big difference between the first online school and the second online school? When we first started doing it, there were a couple of bumps, but those have all been like ironed out and we've all gone into this really smoothly because we've all done it before. Yeah, I'd say teachers have got, got have now got a hang of how to use like teams and stuff. And now they've started including more, more co-curricular activities like the HIT training sessions every Wednesday for LERSIC, which I think... It's a good thing. I don't know about you, but in class, everyone's so used to online school now. Everyone's putting their faces on the screen. They've become a lot more interactive. Like everyone sort of gets involved. I've noticed that a lot with the breakup rooms, you just end up chatting and not necessarily staying on topic, but like there's still that social interaction. And I think the teachers are working hard to make sure we're still talking to our friends and things. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's well, today, there was snow, so that's just a great thing to chat about. You yeah. snow? But you didn't well, get snow. No. I didn't get snow, but other people snow. I got snow. I still got snow, in fact. I can see out. I've still got snow in our garden, yeah. A tiny bit of snow. We had a whole snow day, like sledging. Being able to go sledging is definitely like a plus of online school. Oh, definitely, yeah. Rosie, what what was it like doing the online school without actually knowing anyone? In a way, it was useful because it kind of that first bridge was crossed before I'd even met people so when I came into school like when Amanda and I had our first lesson together she came up to me and she said it's so nice to finally meet you and I just looked at her and I was like it's so weird that we haven't met because we felt like we were really good friends already it was so strange it's really weird because we actually made our friendship over teams one thing that I really like about the online system and how they adapted to perform so well online is the fact that the teachers have been so incredibly supportive. I felt that they really try to connect with all of us, even though it's so hard on a screen. Like for instance, my business teacher, he, um, every lesson, and I, it literally puts a smile on my face, every lesson, he individually goes through each and each individual person and has a small little conversation with them at the start of the class. One time, for instance, like Juliet was like, oh, my cat's ill. And then the next lesson, he was like, oh, how's your cat going? Like, do you know what I mean? It's yeah, yeah, so it's trying to build yeah. that like personal connection still. Over yeah. Teams. And I like that there's still like the five minutes between lessons because they could just get rid of that because we don't have to like walk across the school anymore. But for some teachers that start the lesson one or two minutes early because they have the time to, we then kind of get that interaction and those little conversations as people join and trickle into the lesson. But I do also really miss just walking between lessons and having that break. So you get that fresh air and you're chatting yeah. to your friends as you go. I think you really forget like- how much exercise you do when you're going around school, like walking in between, because all of a sudden when you're actually like at home, it suddenly becomes like much harder to exercise, yeah. like actually force yourself to go outside and get exercise and fresh air. Yeah, yeah, so going on runs is seriously brutal. But I mean, like like you were saying, there is still sport kind of support. Like we get the the emails from the sport department every week and we have like the Challenge 21. Yeah, and then the round the world. It gives people the freedom to do the exercise that they like best while also giving the options to have like stuff that's closer to what's at school. Yeah, yeah. and there's still that sense of school community in like Challenge 21 and things where you are doing your own activities but you're all recording your distances and like it's a kind of house competition and even though it's like online yeah, yeah, which, yeah. it, it yeah. gives motivation I suppose obviously it's a shame not you know doing sports in a team and being interactive but I found that it's actually a really good stepping stone between school life and adult life you know it has to be a self-driven thing and I feel like being in lockdown 
it's so easy to just sit in your bed and watch Netflix but you really have to find that inner drive and be like no I need to get outside I need to go do some exercise like this is good for me and I think having this opportunity has helped that in a way but they also like offer enough support for it not to just be like okay off you go now we're still on the timetable and we still have timetabled activity and to some extent the timetable sport and things I think it's good that we still have that support as well yeah definitely the opportunities that they give us is like I mean like the majority of stuff that we do at school they still try and like get done I would say everything the play that you're in Amanda yeah I know be my baby isn't it that was going to go ahead this term like that's been completely changed and now you're doing that online and we're still rehearsing for my play online to then do it in real life next term and I do both music and drama um and yeah it's, it's all quite different like music lessons will you can back me up on this they're basically exactly the same as they were before anyway yeah, to be fair music lessons are very good they're very good online they work really well it's definitely good that we're still managing to like carry on doing it even though like I know I've got lots of friends who aren't doing like anything at all with orchestras or choirs and things and they're basically stuck in lockdown not being able to do their like music and stuff which I think is a real shame so I think we're really lucky that we have the level that we do you could you send out like videos and stuff where you've got like a montage of people playing their instruments and all layered over the top of each other so it sounds like full orchestra is there yeah I mean the amount of time that Mr Sparkle and Kevin and all of those lot much must spend like putting together all of these things is absolutely insane I mean again going back to be my baby like Kevin's putting all of that together and honestly I I think it's just amazing to be able to do this now when we're all in completely different parts and yet we can still be in a live production together even though we're in you know different parts of the country talking about you know how Mr Sparkle and Kevin have put so much effort into you know trying to make sure that you're still able to do the things that you did previously you know in school I feel so grateful that for the teachers that we have they've put in so much effort um to come because also you have there's that you really have to be quite creative because you have Mm. to think about okay how am I going to do this lesson online how am I able to adapt this and you know connecting and trying to reach out to people well I'm not I'm not sure about any other houses but frankly has times where you can go drop in and speak to one of the matrons or the tutors who sometimes help with preps and stuff in the evenings women bring a cup of tea and just um different teachers log on and stuff and it's really nice to see people that you know you don't have as your teacher for your lessons as well and also the fact that the SAN have like they've just completely changed the whole system and put it all online so people can, can still make appointments and speak to the doctors online or if you want to go talk to a counsellor account, account. like that's amazing like, because I, that could easily be lost just being online and from a pastoral perspective as well like I'm still meeting once a week for half an hour with my academic tutor and we have our like one-on-one calls over teams and we just have a bit of a chat every week the meetings are great yeah, that I love my. I tutor. do actually like my tutor meeting. Yeah. yeah, at the end of each tutor meeting, talking about which which Netflix shows we've been watching. <laughs> That's oh, I love that. You said you were in Schoolhouse. Well. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, don't you have like a fancy dress Friday thing? Yeah, yeah. So every every Friday we do this thing called uh, the Schoolhouse the Schoolhouse Takeover, and because uh, Schoolhouse is the best house in the school, it's good every week to remind people that. So mm-hmm. on, on Friday, we, we have a theme and we have to dress up and attend all our lessons in that theme. One cool thing that they're doing in Marriott's is, um, you know how normally you have six form centre on, on Saturday night? In Lower Six, it's alternating each week. So someone else is in charge of creating a Zoom. Last week, we did like a Kahoot and we just chatted. Sounds so yeah, nice. School last Saturday, we had a beers and poker over Zoom, which was pretty nice as I say it's just nice to catch up with everybody and see faces and still have that social interaction even if you know it's not quite the same yeah yeah and I feel like there's still a lot happening you know I'm not just sitting around doing nothing I feel like I'm (laughs) I'm, you know doing activities like we're still doing community service like that's crazy they've you know like I'm still doing sports and I'm still having my tutor times and sick form centre and prep and you know there's still 
making sure we're getting the whole Camford experience and part of that experience is the hustle and bustle and I don't feel like I'm just sitting at home doing nothing like a potato. With like being online we've, we've still got that community we've still got like house competitions and obviously lessons and tutor time still running like obviously we're not all there running between the blocks late for our next lesson but there's still that element of community just more virtual I guess. Yeah. The great thing is that they they actually like ask our opinion on what they can do to make it better and that I think is one of the reasons why it probably is so good is that they want feedback from us so that they can keep improving it. They're trying to make the best out of a bad situation I feel is what's key to how Camford have um, adapted to online learning. Yeah definitely. Yeah, it's just, just trying to keep that like positive attitude you know yeah positive attitude is a very good way to sum it up mm. exactly yeah well, <laughs> yeah thank you guys so much for contributing and chatting to us it's been i've really enjoyed it actually just having yes. a chit chit chat yeah it's been uh, nice just to chat that yeah mimi it's, it's been an absolute pleasure thanks so much for the for the opportunity <laughs>